What's up, nerds? I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. We're taking a look at Zombie Tsunami, the board game. By Lucky Duck Games. <laughs> So I said the board game because this game is actually based on an app that came out a few years ago that is mm -hmm. highly addictive. Avoid all the the things so that you can make it as far through a level as you can. Yeah, like, it's one of those constant run where you just tap yeah, and jump. Yeah, right? but in this one you are a zombie and you're trying to accumulate more zombies by eating humans and you know avoiding bombs and cars and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think they did a fairly well job of converting it into a board game that is like a multiplayer variant of it. Because mm -hmm. in Zombie Tsunami, it's a one-player game on the app, and there is no player interaction and like stuff. But I think they found a way to do it here. And that definitely is Lucky Duck's goal. The games that they've done so far is Vikings Gone Wild, which has already been an app. Uh, Fruit Ninja is what's coming out next. And then also Jetpack Joyride is going to be hitting... Uh, Kickstarter this summer, so they're clearly trying to bring you know like kids who are addicted to mobile phone games, trying to bring them to the table. Um, but I will say that for us, it kind of brought me back the other way a little bit because I was like, oh, zombie tsunami. Uh, let me let me check that out. And, I, and you're right, it's, I'm just sitting there, I'm like watching TV, and I'm like, what he said? I don't care. Jump. Oh I, no, I, jump. I gotta get a couple more brains. I gotta get my lottery ticket and scratch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you you keep your. I always sell the scratches. Always... What are you doing, man? Sometimes you get like double coins. See, see and... this is. The... <laughs> what? But do you? But do you get lottery tickets in real life? No. So like what? What? So if somebody handed you a lottery ticket, you just go sell it for a dollar and uh, of scratch it. It's and way. See it's way you... more than that. You get like four hundred coins or something. That's a lot. So bringing an app game to the table can always be kind of hard. And I think when they did, they did bring it to the table. It did kind of slow the game down. It's not as fast paced. It's not like you know jerk you know reactions where you're like oh crap crap you gotta be really you know good. This is like we flip over a card and then everybody has to take that action. Like if you know you're jumping over cars, you gotta roll all of your zombies. They're kind of you know they're kind of cube dice in this game. And if you know depending on the icons, this one said you could lose two zombies. If you roll you know two face up zombies, you're gonna lose them. So there's a one in six chance. For each cube that you'll lose it. Yeah, and that's um, showing that like they either got hit by the car or that they fell down the pit when they're making the jump. Yeah, you know? exactly. Because if you've played Zombie Tsunami, even if you make a jump, not everybody in that long train is going to make it. Yeah, you're like, oh, my first one made it, but then the one in the back didn't get the memo in time, and he gets slammed mm -hmm. by the car. And then there's the the pushing ones, which, which is where they do a good job of making it like semi-cooperative. It's like a party game aspect. Yeah, so like there's like there's at first there's like the small taxis you have to push, and there's the airplanes and the tanks and stuff. And they have a requirement, and if you can't make that requirement by yourself, you need to team up with someone. So there's these voting beads. You're just like secretly like, hey, let's join the blue team. We're all gonna mm -hmm. pool our zombies together, and that's where it it becomes the party game. It's a lot of yeah. So like, it's kind of like um, I think it was even you who said that it was a lot like dead last, where like you're trying to like secretly talk to other people at the table because if you just say team blue. You know, either everybody's going to go Team Blue and you're not going to be able to, you know, ice somebody out, or everybody's going to go not Team Blue and you're going to be the only one Team Blue and you're going to be screwed. Yeah. But they, but then again, there also are these secret goal cards that may you want to be in the largest group or in the smallest group, so that's also incentivizing people. So it's not just what you say, how many you have, it also has to do with the, the secret card that you have too. So there's an awful lot of information that gets passed around the table when all we're trying to do is just band together in a group of four zombies or more. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And then when you get to like the bigger ones, like 12 zombies, which yeah. is a lot harder to pull off by yourself, so you definitely want to group up with people. The beads, the voting beads though, do look like candy. Every time I brought this game up, that's all <laughs> anybody says. And I actually took, well I took a picture because uh, we were eating M&M's one night, and I took a picture of those next to M&M's, and they do look pretty identical. Like, obviously, uh, throw the picture up there. It's hard to tell. So you might accidentally, if you have kids, don't don't let these go. These look like, you know the little paper things with, like, little dots on them, and you peeled it off? Uh, they eat that candy? Yeah, the, that was the worst. I could the garbage never get, candy? The garbage candy. <laughs> I, could never, I could never get it off. Like, like oh, I paper. always ate paper. I always ate twenty five percent paper. Each round, there's uh, two points where you can actually uh, you'll gain a coin, and you can buy these cards that have like a one time use ability for most of them, um, and that really makes it party like too. Because then you're you know stealing from other players, you're blowing up uh, player zombies or humans that they've collected, because um, the humans take a little bit of time to convert to a zombie, mm -hmm. uh, which is 
just like the game. Like you could eat a human in the in the app and then like run into a bomb and mm-hmm. that human that doesn't human. convert and mm-hmm. then you die. Yep. You're like, dang it. So you definitely need to last to the end of this round so that your humans, you know, will convert, but people are probably gonna, you know, spend their money to blow you up because money isn't worth anything at the end. Yeah. There's no like at the end of a round you you know or you know, after you play through the day, you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy an upgrade. No, these are the in game upgrades you're buying as you yeah. go and you're you know it, it can yeah. be quick paced unless people are you know trying to really game this game and i don't think it's supposed to be a game like that it's supposed to be a lighter party game yeah i think that's a really good point because the first time we played this and you know i will kind of warn you that your first game is going to be a little bit clunky especially if you include the zombirds and the event deck mm-hmm. in, which they, they recommend that you do and you can do but if it's your very first game you include those and we had six players it was really clunky. There was an awful lot of, well, why would I do this? And when does this happen? Lots of things trigger. What? But once you know it, you know, you'll have one person kind of running the game. Whoever's flipping over the cards, like, boom, this card means this. Do that. And it makes sense, but you really need to play it at least once or twice just to get it. Mm-hmm. So I almost kind of want to forewarn you, because we didn't really, like, have a good time first time playing this. It, kept, mm-hmm. it felt really slow, because we kept stopping and saying, you know, like, the shopping starts with whoever has the fewest zombies, and then goes clockwise. But some of these cards actually trigger by whoever has the most goes first, and then goes around. So it's really imperative to have somebody to just control that deck, and to almost like set the pace for the game. We'll be like, flip it over, go. Everybody roll your zombies, go, roll your zombies. Okay, cool, now we're going to the next one. Boom, we need to band together a four. Everybody put these in your left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because yeah. you're right, the game can be slow, but it also can be really fast oh, if no. you put pressure on people and you're like, go, 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 go. And that's where it's more fun, definitely. For sure. Because if the app was that slow, it wouldn't right. be fun. Like, it's yeah. it's definitely supposed to be fast-paced, and you're, you, you know... You're going to want to have somebody, like you said, run the game and keep everybody engaged and keep it going. And then when it gets to the money thing, maybe put a timer on it. Be like, hey, do you want to buy one of these? Spend it now. Three, two, one. Okay, you didn't get to buy anything. And like move on to the next person. Because mm-hmm. if somebody's sitting there going, hmm, so I could buy these humans, but the, you're, you got money, so you could buy this bomb and blow up my humans. And people like that can really bum out a party game like this like yeah and in that this is a party game mm-hmm. it, it's the it's a board game but i think even on like their website they called it like a light party game because that's exactly what it is there is that one card at the end there where if you roll it you could lose all your zombies and some people would be like what that's bs man that's a broken card that's a the whole point of this game is it's a lot of luck and just a lot of goofy, wacky fun. If you're a min-maxer, if you really want to win, if you're highly competitive, then this probably isn't the game for you. It's a light party game that, seriously, when you know what you're doing, it really can be 30 minutes. It can be less than that. It can be 20 minutes, even. Mm. Like, you can play multiple rounds in this of this. And that's the only, like, complaint that I would have. I do say I really liked this game for what it was. It was a really fun, light, quick party game. I would definitely pull this out with, with a lot of people. It's definitely the more the merrier, especially since... Now I know the rules, I know all the cards, I can be the one who runs the game. That's one of my few caveats, my few like complaints is that it is rough your first couple of games when nobody knows what's going on. Mm-hmm. Once somebody <clears throat> knows what's going on and you can explain it, then yeah, it's a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, it's, like, it's smooth, it's real smooth. But the only other complaint is I actually would kind of like to see a couple extra rounds like optional extra rounds almost maybe like a third uh, sorry like a fourth or a fifth round deck that they could come out with so that way you can add that to the end just like because when you do know it so well you can play it real fast i almost kind of want to see somebody roll and i guess those decks would have to come with more zombies but i really want to see somebody have like you know rolling like 60 zombies or something Ah, yeah you know Um, losing them all yeah I don't, I don't know if they would ever do that, but I would certainly be interested in that. So if you guys were on the fence about making that, make it. I'll get it. I'll buy it, bro. Do it. Do it now. I'm going to have to agree with you. This is great for a light little party game. It's not something that you're going to pull out and be like, hey, guys, this is we're centering our whole night around Zombie Tsunami. Woo! It's, yeah, it's definitely just going to be like, hey, let's uh, you know warm up and play this little fun little wacky game. And you know it's something... Once somebody knows how to play it, you could sit around drinking and play this game very easily. Oh, because yeah. if every time you lose a zombie, you have to take a shot, that would be not a shot, just a drink. Just like because because that would be <laughs> like, shot. You're doing like, <laughs> like no, all my zombies. Oh no, alcohol poisoning. <laughs> and I like that they added the two little mini expansions in. 
uh, with the with the event cards that give you like something you can do during the round, you know, giving these like things to trigger, and then the zombirds, which give you like extra abilities and things, which mm -hmm. you know can give you more zombies or give you more coins and things. So if any of what we were talking about here sounds interesting to you, we're gonna put a purchase link to this game in the description box down below. Go ahead and get yourself a copy. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never be bored. It's not a game that you're gonna sit down for the entire night and play. Um, yeah, it's unlike the, Yeah, unlike the app, you could probably play that all night once you get yeah. addicted to it. But uh, even then, <laughs> games of that last, you know, like two minutes, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like sex. <laughs>